Hello viewers, well I'm here again in South Wales and I'm joined by an eclectic mix of XJW <laughs> activists. Oh you come an eclectic! Hang on a minute! We have Mark Latham, Louise Good and Karen Morgan and we're actually here together for an XJW meetup but what we've decided to do is just do a little video together where we talk about the Royal Commission which is I'm sure on everybody's minds at the moment because they really have been grilling the organisation in Australia haven't they and um, perhaps we'll start with you Louise uh, I know <laughs> Louise, <laughs> you know, I've not been able to show up for a week <laughs> Have you noticed? Have you not? <laughs> get it out, get no, it out. No. <laughs> so, general thoughts on the Royal Commission. Um, general thoughts, right, I'll tell you my main thought that I haven't told anybody else. So oh, you heard it here first. You heard it here first, viewers. I genuinely think the bit where Angus says to um, Jackson, so you understand that, that the people doing this, are, are from, they're doing it from a genuine position, they want to improve, and he goes, yes, and he goes, you understand that the Royal Commission are, are trying to bring about change from a genuine position, he goes, yes, he goes, and you recognise that this isn't all being dri dri apostate-driven lies. Mm. I genuinely think that was Angus Stewart's gift to us. Mm -hmm. That was a gift That's to XJW. He didn't need to establish that point mm -hmm. for the Royal Commission. They don't care what Jackson thinks about it, mm -hmm. whether he thinks this, that or the other. But because I think they've got so much information from XJW, wasn't it? It was like a gift. Well, I yes, said that to you, didn't mm -hmm. I? Yeah. Was, that you, was that your question? Because it was almost unbelievable. It was like <laughs> we'd said, will you make sure yeah. that it's yeah. not? Because now we can take that transcript mm -hmm. and show it to any witness yeah. now. Yeah. So it, look, he said it's not a positive. He didn't quite say it's not, but he said no. enough. Yeah. To he, he said enough to, to show that he couldn't. Disagree. We can talk about it without yes. it necessarily yeah. being all a huge conspiracy. Well, yeah. Yeah. Definitely, yeah. and I just thought that was a gift. He did yeah. that for us. I but it was, was also that. interesting that he didn't just say no. Whereas yes. he'd been saying one word, one word, one word. Then he went, when it came to that, that it was like, was oh, trying, I'm going to have to give stuff. an explanation. He was trying to hedge yeah. it, wasn't yeah. he? And say, oh, well, sometimes the people that say these things bring they other accusations. Other, other things. Like what? Like you're a goon and an incompetent. <laughs> <laughs> Who would say that? About such a knowledgeable man. Yeah. <laughs> and just show you this scripture. <laughs> Let's look up this uh, Oh. I, I'll be honest, I haven't, I mean, I mean you know I've been travelling, so I, I literally haven't had the opportunity to sit down and watch the Jeffrey Jackson testimony yet, but oh. it's something I'm absolutely... You'll want to do a video on it when you've watched it. <laughs> I probably will, yeah. yeah. you'll want to do a video. To be fair, they didn't manage to humiliate Jackson as much as they did the elders. A few people have said that. Yeah, he wasn't humiliated at all because he was literally so mm. special that he just didn't get anything. Mm. No, it was a little bit slick. Yeah, plus he was able to keep saying, yeah. oh, well, that's not my field. Yeah. Oh, well, that's not my field, every time he was asked. Yeah. But he genuinely believed his own hype, didn't he? Whereas the elders, were, you could see they were aware that it didn't, it wasn't right. The elders looked scared. He didn't, Properly scared. He didn't look no, scared. No, he wasn't scared at all. He's the man at the top, isn't he? And that's, you know what they say, that you know who, you know who's in charge by who you're frightened to criticise. Now all those elders were terrified to criticise. So they had people above them. And O'Brien was frightened to criticise, <coughs> so he had people above them. Jackson wasn't frightened of anything. Mm -hmm. He's the man at the top, he's not scared of anyone. No. Mm. And when he meets Jesus, you'll be able to ask him, <laughs> won't he? Oh. Well, one of his flashing lights of, of spirit that they see in this little office. <clears throat> I think one of the reasons why these elders were so terrified is because the Watchtower corporation as we know has a history of leaving them in the lurch leaving these elders yeah. Yeah. Just, and you have nothing to do with us yeah. and so <clears throat> rather than take that vicarious liability that they should be taking at the top ooh, yeah. no that's nothing to do with us that that's your fault that's mm. the way you're handling it mm. so these elders are looking for the support and it's just not there no. it really isn't 
and um, they've got a history of that. So these elders have got to be very, very careful. Mm. And you can see the nervousness. Totally, the mouths were drying up, weren't they? Well, yeah. well, maybe we can go back to that because you know we're racing ahead to <laughs> Jeffrey Jackson, but the, the, <clears throat> it was astonishing footage just to see those elders. Oh, it was amazing. I, I think. For me, what was fascinating was that here you have men who are used to putting other people on yeah. the spot yeah. and who are yeah. used to sitting in, in judgment, judgment and now they're the ones being asked the difficult oh, questions. It, it, they yeah. just couldn't, they just... Yeah. Mm. Do you know the only thing that would have made it even sweeter was if Mr Stewart were being a female? <laughs> yeah. That would yeah. have been amazing. Yeah, yeah. Because the woman good? wasn't yeah. that good, was she? Oh, it was just oh, going to this. Oh, Monica God. Apple, Apple White? Was it Apple White? Oh, right, yeah. yeah. I mean, a lawyer, but this, yeah. This, this lady, now, <laughs> she's a real piece of work. <laughs> the way that they went through and... She was on day four, wasn't she? Yes, yeah. 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 But here's a woman. Okay, that's been handed the Shepherd the Flock of God book. Mm -hmm. A woman. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. Not only is she a woman, mm -hmm. but she's an active Catholic mm -hmm. as well. Yeah, that's and, an interesting And idea, they paid yeah. her as yeah. a consultant was to the advise <laughs> them on child safety. Well she wasn't really, Catholic Church. She wasn't really being paid to advise them, she was being paid to say that everything was, was fine, yeah. 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 But they were better than yeah. any other religion in the yeah. world. It was like yeah. what religions we can you name then? Yeah. <laughs> but I just found the ironies were incredible <laughs> when you look at her history and there she was, this professional consultant, then coming out. And this this I mean we know this shepherd book. You women can't even bind the book. Mm. They're not there's a letter that's out there as we know. So mm. no woman is allowed to bind this book. Yes, yeah. And here they're giving it to her. I find that... That's a good point, actually. That is, I haven't yeah. thought of that either. Fascinating. And when, when you think of the elders as well, um, they seem to rely very much on saying, oh, I can't remember. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but it's, that's not an argument. I mean, um, like, just because you can't remember something, don't mean to say it and happen, does um, it? No. Like, I, I can't remember what I had for breakfast yesterday, but clearly I did have something yeah. for breakfast well, yesterday. Don't matter whether you can remember it or not, it happened, they had evidence of it. It's like we're not talking about whether you can remember it, yeah. we're talking about what actually happened. And I just thought it was a nice, easy way for them to deflect, but I don't think it got them out of anything. No, it didn't. It didn't I, get them the, the other phrase, as I understand and it. it. As yeah. I understand yeah. it, in yeah. other words, there's a little yeah. loophole there yeah. because you can correct me later in retrospect. Yeah. But maybe I did get it wrong. But as I understand it, yeah. this is what we see. And, and where uh, they'd all passed the book up mm -hmm. and up and up, I'd found the branch, I'd found the branch, I'd found the branch, and then we got to the branch, and they said, "Oh, we'll get." We'd, we'd ask the legal department, and then we got to the legal department, and he said, "Oh, well, that's the service committee." <laughs> and then the service committee, oh, well, we'd, we'd refer to the governing <clears> body. So when we had the governing body there, he then deflected back downwards. So first of all, he started saying, well, we have these 30 men that are helpers. Mm. So like this mystery committee, and mm. we, just, we just check it for spelling mistakes, right? You head out a big religion and you just check it for spelling mistakes. Yeah, of course you do. And then he said like, oh, well, it's a committee, so we, we agree it jointly. And, and then he said, um, well, if Mr. Spink said that in his testimony, then it must be true. But he was just passing it back down. Yeah. And I thought, this is how they operate, that nobody said anything. When you phone up, you don't get a person's name. Nobody's written anything anything because when you get a letter it's, it's always from yeah, no the congregation nobody said anything nobody's written anything nobody can remember anything mm. and yet somehow there's a religion running seven million people here mm. who are all utterly terrified what they're scared of no yeah. they're all got yeah. alzheimer's yeah. at the top you can do what you want you can run around naked and they won't remember the next day would they wow. so, <laughs> go on field service in your undercrackers <laughs> nobody would remember <laughs> I think I think for me one of the most remarkable days was day six because day five you had um, some of these Bethel representatives being interviewed and basically saying it has nothing to do with the governing body. I can't remember exactly who it was. It, was it the, was it, the was lawyer? Was it Spinks who said? Could have been, yeah. Uh, it has nothing to do with the governing body. And yeah. I can remember well, they tried e to say that. Yeah. Didn't they? But then plan A. I, I can remember <laughs> emailing. Angus Stewart and mm -hmm. saying, you know, you do realise that they're only saying that to, to protect yeah. uh, Jeffrey Jackson. Yeah. And then the next day uh, you had Vincent Tool being yeah. interviewed and <laughs> O'Brien, was his name O'Brien? Yeah, they um, called the, yeah. And it was like the, the tables were turning and they were starting to realise yeah. yeah. that they were doing everything they could to stop Jeffrey Jackson from yeah, appearing. Yeah, I like that. And yeah. they had, was it Tockley, that sibling? Yeah. 
Walks tower alone. <laughs> 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 <Sibilance, laughs> of, cool, of course, Your Honor. We will do everything Your Honor wishes. Oh, oh, we take, it, 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 we take oh, into consideration, oh, Your Honor, Your everything Honor. Your Honor and, says. And, and, and I, I can assure you that I never meant to mislead the court, Your Honor. <laughs> <laughs> It oh, was this woman me, you gave me. <laughs> she missed, she made me say it. But that for me was when the, the tide, you yes. can see the yeah, tide yeah, turning. Yeah, yeah, that was, and, yeah. and then the real, um, the real cream on the cake was when Angus Stewart nailed him on shunning. I think yes. that's when every XJW just like, went, the, yeah! It was like, <laughs> like the, the bull hitting the back of the net, wasn't it? Yeah. Because, yeah. yeah. <laughs> We love Mr. Stewart. He's a legend in here. <laughs> we are not worthy. <laughs> but what was good about Stuart was in the in those couple of days that they had off, and he obviously did his research. It was bang on the nail with the Bible, wasn't yeah. it? I thought, yeah. why are they checking this guy on on the Bible on his ground when yeah, it's kind of illegal? Terrible. But actually, but he was good, wasn't you he? You can't take them all on the Bible. Yeah. yeah. Quite but easily, you can actually. tell. Mm. Yeah. I mean, Mr. Stewart was only asking questions and leading them to yeah. where he knew it was going to yeah. go. Yeah. 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 So he obviously yeah. knew, right, I've got these scriptures to play with. I'm yes. going to go for this, this, and this. Yeah. yeah. He's just and I, was, I was saying it out loud. I know where he's got, I know, I know where, where he's, he's going to go. This, yeah. Yeah. He's going to go to that part of yeah. the Bible now. Yeah. And when it came to the, about the rod and beating, oh, yeah, and, he thought, right. and Jackson thought that he was off the hook because, no, obviously we don't beat children. And then the judge had led him exactly to where he wanted him because he said, well, then you do read the Bible. And it's in its modern day context, then. If you're saying that this scripture about beating, but yeah. you don't beat children, which by the way, we all know is a lie, but let's, you know, he was damned whatever he said, wasn't he? But he thought, he, Jackson thought he was <coughs> off the hook, and actually, um, Justice McClellan had led him exactly to where he wanted him to say, well, he was brilliant. He oh, was he good, wasn't he? Had yeah. a style all of his own, didn't he? Yeah. yeah. I, I think one of the things that really stood out for me was, was Spink, the head of the servicing uh, in Australia. Mm -hmm. And his his whole approach and the blatant lies and the way he did it was so skillful. Yeah. To to an ex Jehovah's Witness like us, we we could see straight away yeah. he was lying. It was like a word salad, wasn't it? Every it was just shocking. Oh, yeah. But he was coming out with the, when he shrugged his shoulders and then opened to Romans Romans thirteen. Read along with me. <laughs> We're in total subjection. <laughs> yeah, it was. Can we read along, please? Uh, total subjection to the superior authority. That's us. <laughs> That's what we do. <laughs> At that point, I knew I had to get that letter off. Yeah. November, uh, two thousand and fourteen, on legal issues that he would have signed off. Yeah. That says in there very, very clearly, you do not cooperate with the police. Yeah. You do not. Yeah. You do your best to uh, to to try legal and call entanglements. Them. Wasn't yes. It? So Search warrants. You don't open yeah. the door to them. Don't let them in. Make mm. sure that they don't get any of that confidential confidential information. All those things were coming out in this letter. Emailed it straight off to them, hoping that they could use this in the future, mm. because it was the complete opposite to what this guy was saying mm -hmm. as head of legal, head yeah. of services. Mm -hmm. um, you know, uh, <clears throat> for me, that was such a, uh, a poignant moment of, of where the organization was, to every one of us, uh, was totally 100% lying. Mm -hmm. yeah. And he was doing it with a smile on his face and he was using scripture to back it up. Mm -hmm. Shocking. But wasn't it beautiful to see how committed um, the commission were to get into the oh, bottom yeah, of things. Yeah, totally. And one thing that really impressed me was uh, you probably heard about the story of John Red John Redwood yes. and the branch manual. Yeah. Um, John Redwood, uh, that's not his real name by the way, but um, he picked them. This, I, I explained the day when they were trying to disconnect the governing body from the branch, and then that evening or or the next morning, however the time zones worked out, John Redwood emailed a copy of the branch manual to Angus Stewart and within an hour it was being presented as evidence. Yes, Wonderful. brilliant. Um, of the bomb as my mum called it, the branch and, office manual. And, and of course almost, <laughs> <The bomb. laughs> almost every paragraph yeah. was linking the governing yeah. body with the yeah. decisions yeah. of the branch yeah. Yeah. 
So that was the remarkable stuff. But I did wonder where they'd said where Tockley and O'Brien, Tockley and O'Brien, like <laughs> the two stooges, had tried to say that Jackson would be no use to them. Mm. I just because he was involved didn't... in translation. Yeah, but I just oh, wondered if actually in the end he was no use to them because he was such a blithering, cretinous, brain dead idiot. Yeah, yeah. That I think they just got bored with him. I think they were like a bit like a cat playing with a mouse, mm. and then after a while they just thought, Oh God! So I was really just, hoping with Vincent O'Toole when yeah. he came on that they would have used some of the legal transcripts from the Stephen Unthank thing in, in Victoria, yes. right. yeah. where they were. This Vincent O'Toole stood up in court. Yes, and, and said, said there was no. There's no governing body. body. Mm. He said there's no such thing. Oh, that's a good point. Yeah, yeah I remember. There yeah. is no yeah. governing that's, body. Yeah. In fact. Yeah. There are no Jehovah's Witnesses yeah, he in Victoria. Wow. He actually <laughs> yeah, said that yeah, in court. No Jehovah's Witnesses from in Victoria. Don't there was a big exist. gasp in the court. Yeah. But we're here. Yeah. We're, yeah. We are Jehovah's Witnesses. Yeah. And he was, and it was delay tactics. It was, mm. it was to delay the judge, to give them more time. In court, but he lied. Wow. On oath. And you had the clear example. Well, he lied. We did an article on JW survey about him lying about shunning. Yeah. He said something along the lines like, of... Oh yeah, lying's okay. Yeah, because yeah. 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 you can't tell the truth to people no. who don't deserve it. No. But we don't people with beards don't hands. deserve the truth. <laughs> but there, there seems to be we this debate... Yeah. <laughs> people with shaved heads don't deserve the truth. There seems to be this debate, or very, very long hair. Yeah. Um, <laughs> there seems to be this toing and froing about the whole impact of Jeffrey Jackson. And we were saying before, um, you know, was it a bit of an anti-climax? My, my own view is, from, purely from what I've heard, is that any kind of showing from him where he's being himself and he's being yeah. evasive and yeah. difficult and yeah. arrogant can only be good, even yeah. if he's lying yeah. to yeah. Because anybody, any Jehovah's Witness who watches it who is intellectually honest will be honest appalled, appalled and ashamed yeah. at him. Yeah. Only if they are absolutely desperate to clutch at straws sure. will they find something yeah. positive yeah. in it. You're absolutely I right. Loved, mm. yeah. Sorry. Yeah. I loved the bit where um, Mr. Stewart said to Mr. Jackson, it was something like, do you feel you owe an apology to all oh, the victims? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And yeah. that was his moment to say, yeah, do you know yeah. what? We are absolutely yeah. devastated you as well. yeah. Yeah, at what we've yeah. put. Mm. But instead of saying that, he had to say, well, you know, we do apologise when we get things wrong. wrong. So yeah. we'll have to have a little discussion about yeah. that. Yeah. And yeah. Yeah. When he could have just said, yeah, we're so he sorry. Said, he said the, the governing body have apologised many times. Yeah. For, yes. when? for mistakes in translation. Yes. And yeah. Yeah. <laughs> have you ever seen a written apology from no. Watchtower? No. no. I've not seen one. Have you might have heard one? January 1st, 1976. <laughs> really, 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 really sorry. Oh, 76, that was your fault for believing it. <laughs> yeah. no, that's right, they haven't apologised. Yeah. They, they've, they've written articles where they said, occasionally we get, get things, things wrong, wrong, but we're only human. And they do that kind of apology, like where somebody says, oh, oh, if you've mistaken what I said, mm. then I'm really sorry. Occasionally, like, it's your fault. occasionally individuals in the organisation have been very anxious and they've yeah. run ahead of Jehovah's <laughs> organisation. Oh. Yeah, if you usual, misunderstood usual me spiel. when I said Terrible 1975, yeah. then I'm really sorry that you misunderstood that. I think one of the other things that's really stood out for us when we've been looking at the social networking sites mm. and looking at all of the vast community that's out there is is everybody's we've been gauging people's reactions to this mm. uh, all over the world and and we're seeing everybody feeling we've had some people I mean, on the telephone to us recently were crying um, because they were so upset because they've been abused um, we're so upset about what they've seen we've seen anger we've seen joy we've seen yes so li feeling liberated at that at last they're being exposed to the world all of these different emotions all coming out together car crash moments elation upset angry laughing at it you can't you I mean that it, there's such a ball of emotions going on there for all of us yeah and every one of us can relate to the other one mm. because we all, we've all been there we're all watching this stuff with our popcorn <laughs> and thinking to ourselves what little gems are we going to find out tonight when mm. we're watching it but it was it, it's this is this is now for the public record this stuff can't mm, yeah, be wrong. they can't yeah, get rid of it. It's yeah. going to be there forever. And yeah. for any one of us now, we can pick away at this stuff 
and to our heart's content, and it can carry on exposing this for what it's And worth. Louise, is there any more um, testimony going to be heard, or is that it now? They're moving I on to the next. I think they're moving on to the next one. Yeah. Yeah. But you know what I was thinking as well? It, this has opened up a lot of dialogue between mm. XJWs and JW yeah. relatives. Mm. Yeah. Lots yes, and yeah. lots of people have been saying, I just mentioned this to my mum, I just told my sister, have you seen this? And it is opening up a lot of dialogue. It's giving people yeah. opportunity to talk where they might not have yeah. ever spoken. So there is a lot of good coming mm. from it. And but will they actually watch it? That's the thing. That's yeah. about no, the Royal Commission, I've heard. Yeah. Yeah. through friends of friends that Jehovah's Witnesses are saying, oh no, those videos yeah. have been doctored. Well, <laughs> yeah, how much you can can't, doctor? There is Jeffrey Jackson. You can't so, help yeah. people that are willing to believe yeah. conspiracy theories, can you? I you know, I, the men on the moon and the blooming dissecting an alien in America. If people want to believe that, yeah. then you can't help them. They're far gone. There'll think, be a few people. I think like Mark says, it's on the public record yeah. now and it's almost like it's down to us as activists to, 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 get it to out, go yeah. to the next step yeah. and make use of it and, and make sure so. it's available. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. also, to make sure that people start contacting the UK, yeah. One, yeah. definitely, yeah. just do yeah. it, do it, do yeah. it. I hope it's going to be the same scale in the yeah. UK. Who was the lady the here earlier scale. who said, yeah. She phoned the UK Commission up today and yeah. she said, I said to them, I'm not a victim of abuse oh, yeah. myself, but I want to tell you this, this and this. And she said they were really, really interested and they wanted to know detail from her. And they said, she said, if lots of people phone you up with information, will you collect it all and make sure Jehovah's Witnesses are included? And they said, yeah, we'll collect it all. She said, ring them, phone up the UK statutory inquiry because they are interested. Sure. And it does almost feel as though if Angus Stewart isn't involved... Oh, <laughs> yeah, what's the point? <laughs> <laughs> Don't you, can't we club together and fight? Because <laughs> <laughs> he could stay at my house. <laughs> <laughs> I could stay at your house. Uh, ladies, could yeah. you just... Um... <laughs> But no, wow, what a remarkable <laughs> series of videos. And they yeah. said as well that they will be checking on the witnesses. Yes, in two they and did. They years. Yeah. And what, well, they've given them two weeks to come up with that document. Right. Now, no. are we going to hear about that? Two weeks. They said they were giving them two years, didn't they? To, oh, two weeks to two weeks to come to, up with, with that right. document. Because what is this document? So what he said was like you know when Jackson said, did you say this? When Jackson said, oh, um, if you if only you'd change the law, then it'd be easy for us. If you made us do it, it'd be easy for us. What the Justice McClelland has said is. I want you to write a report identifying what oh, things right. are yeah. wrong, yeah. what are the problems in your organisation and what are you going to do to yeah. correct them. So he's not saying, <laughs> I'm going to tell you what to do and then you can do it passively mm -hmm. and then pretend that you're doing everything okay. He's saying, you identify the problems, you say what you're going to do to correct mm -hmm. them. And McClellan said, if we don't like it, we will tell you. And if we... if we don't think it's gone far enough, we will tell you. But what he's not going to do is write it for them mm. so that they can then passively go, oh, well, this is the law, we've got to follow it. They you have know, to take they the have initiative. To, yeah. You know, like with a kid at school, when you, instead of just saying, say sorry, and they go, sorry, you say, look, what did you do then? Yeah. What yeah. did you do that was hurtful? So he's yeah. a school teacher. Yeah. Right? <laughs> <laughs> but you do because you yeah. need the yeah. child to know what they've done. It's yeah. easy mm. to tell them, say sorry, go and pick up the little whatever, yeah. but to get them to accept it and correct it themselves is about ownership yeah. and that's what he was doing which was good. He wants Jehovah's Witnesses to take responsibility yeah. and it's very reassuring to know that after two and a half years well they will go looking, back yeah. yeah they'll be looking back at that yeah. let's hope that something good comes from this I think something good already has come you know, from, well, from, <laughs> yeah. from everything that we've seen. But what we want is lasting change. We, we and do. Above all, Worldwide, we want. Worldwide, not yeah. just in Australia. Just Australia yeah. Yeah. Rather than this being a case of, oh, well, we want something to be wrong so that we can complain about it. We yeah. genuinely we want, want children to be protected. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. There are children out there now that mm. could go through this in the future, mm. but there could be a difference. There could be a change. And it's for those children. This is, this, all this is. And for the parents. And to realise they yeah. don't actually have to go to the no. elders. Yeah. No. They could just the ring the police. Yeah. And there's two more. Oh, yeah. 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 what can yeah. it be? That's got to go. Yeah. That's got to go. But the, will they do that? These changes should have already been introduced, but. You know, the, the sooner they're introduced, the better. They can't be, can't go on for anything. One of the other things the Royal Commission have done is written a draft document about the redress scheme, and my mum's read it all. It's only about 78 pages long. <laughs> 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 Thank you, Louise's mum. Yeah, definitely. 
And one of the things she said is that he's talking about a threshold of $100,000 perhaps, or one hundred and fifty. dollars He's not talking just paying for their counselling costs for a few years. He's talking significant compensation. amounts of compensation yeah. for the devastation that has been wreaked on people's lives. Now, if you think in Australia there's a 1,006 abusers yeah. who've probably got multiple victims multiple each. each. If yeah. each oh, yeah. of those cases gets to hundred, two hundred thousand dollars, that's gonna well, we're looking add at, up. You know, we're add up. And that's amount. just in Australia. Mm. And I suspect that the yeah. UK one will follow mm. the same pattern as the mm. Australia one. Mm. And I think we'll be looking at a redress scheme as well. And I just think yeah. to right and when people say, Oh they're only doing it for money, well so what? Yeah. Actually, those no. people deserve that money. It, only yeah. doing it for money. Are you joking? Um, can I just say I'm not yeah. doing it for money? I don't. <laughs> I think you. How can you? How can you do? How can you even say that? Mm. Oh, I know. I'll get abused as a child so that I can have some money when I'm an adult. Yeah, I know. Yeah. 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 yeah, it's disgusting. I, I actually told my it's lawyer that yeah. if they yeah. change the two witness rule and if they apologise to me, I don't have to have a legal case again. I won't have a legal oh, case. See, again. I think yeah. that's big. Yeah. I think that's big. Yeah. People deserve recompense, and of course they do. Of course they do. Yeah. And so. this two witness rule for me, that's the big one. That's yeah. that's the really big one that needs to be destroyed. Well, yeah. All it takes is for the governing body to get together and write a letter that says if you hear of an accusation of child abuse, yeah. ring the police. Right. And the police, all that's they it. Need to do. Because actually Jackson did say, he said, mm. they said, um, what support do you provide? He goes, well, we provide, lo we put support in place. He goes, yes, what support? From the scriptures. If what, we put support in place. Yes, what support do you put in place? And in the end, Jackson said, well, I would hope that the elder's conscience would make him phone the police. Oh, and then yeah. Jackson said, <clears throat> Is there anything in writing to tell them to do that? That's all you've got to do. Yeah. Phone the police. That's all they've got to write, mm. and then everybody will phone the police. Mm. So lots of faults with the Jehovah's Witness child abuse policies, which were painfully obvious during the Royal Commission, but at least a light is being shone on them. And I've really enjoyed talking about it with you guys, and hopefully doing it a little bit of justice with all this avalanche of information yeah. that's been thrown at sure. us trying to pick it apart yeah. but um, I look forward to watching more of your videos and your more, more of your analysis I'm sure we'll talk about it on the podcast won't we somebody uh, needs <laughs> lampooning very very quickly like somebody might be Mr GJ <laughs> and uh, we're all for an honorary OB for Angus Stewart so yeah, yeah, so. yeah, yeah. All that. yeah. so uh, we'll say goodbye thank you very much for watching everybody and uh yeah, we'll see you soon. Bye. 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 Bye.